Discover with Let You Know. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about memory techniques and how they can help improve your memory. Memory is an essential cognitive function that allows us to store and retrieve information. Have you ever wished you had a better memory? Maybe you struggle to remember people's names, or you're always forgetting where you put your keys. Well, the good news is that memory is a skill that can be improved with practice. Today, we'll be discussing 5 memory techniques that are backed by science and can help you improve your memory. 1. The Memory Palace Method This technique involves associating the things you want to remember with a familiar location, such as your home or your office. To use this technique, you simply visualize each item you want to remember in a specific location in your memory palace. For example, you might associate the Ace of Spades with your front door. Then, when you want to remember the order of the cards, you simply visualize yourself walking through your memory palace and seeing each card in its assigned location. The hippocampus, located in the medial temporal lobe of the brain, is a key area for memory formation and consolidation. When you use the memory palace method, you are leveraging the spatial memory capabilities of the hippocampus to associate the information you want to remember with a familiar location. By visualizing the information in a specific location, you are creating a vivid and memorable mental image that is more easily stored in your brain. 2. The Chunking Method This technique involves breaking down complex information into smaller, more manageable chunks. For example, if you have a long grocery list, you might group the items into categories, such as fruits, vegetables, and dairy. This makes it easier for your brain to remember the information because it can focus on smaller chunks of information at a time. The prefrontal cortex, located in the front part of the brain, is involved in a variety of cognitive functions, including working memory and attention. When you use the chunking method, you are leveraging the working memory capacity of the prefrontal cortex to break down complex information into smaller, more manageable chunks. By focusing on smaller pieces of information at a time, you are able to more effectively use your working memory resources to store and recall the information. 3. The Visualization Method Visualization is a powerful memory technique that involves creating mental images to remember information. For example, if you're trying to remember a list of groceries, you can visualize yourself walking through the supermarket, picking up each item and placing it in your cart. When you use the visualization method, you are leveraging the visual processing capabilities of the occipital lobe to create vivid and memorable mental images. The occipital lobe, located in the back of the brain, is primarily responsible for processing visual information. By associating the information, you want to remember with a distinctive visual image, you are able to tap into the power of your visual memory to store and recall the information. 4. The Association Method Association is a memory technique where you connect new information with something you already know. For example, if you're trying to remember someone's name, you can associate it with something that rhymes with their name or something that reminds you of them. The amygdala, 
located in the temporal lobe of the brain, is involved in emotional processing and memory. When you use the association method, you are leveraging the emotional significance of the information you want to remember to create a meaningful association with something else that is familiar to you. By tapping into the emotional connections between different pieces of information, you are able to create a more durable memory that is less likely to fade over time. Five, the repetition method. Repetition is a simple yet effective memory technique that involves repeating information over and over again until it sticks. For example, if you're trying to remember a phone number, you can repeat it to yourself several times until you can recall it without hesitation. The repetition method works by leveraging the brain's plasticity and the ability to strengthen neural connections through repeated activation. Over time, the neural connections associated with the information become stronger and more durable, making it easier to remember the information in the long term. By repeating the information, you want to remember over and over again, you are effectively training your brain to become more efficient at storing and recalling the information. Conclusion So, there you have it, 5 important memory techniques and the scientific explanations behind them. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone who wants to improve their memory, these techniques can help you remember information more effectively. Remember to try these techniques out for yourself and see how they work for you. Thank you for tuning in. Keep your curiosity alive. If you enjoyed my channel, please show your support by liking, subscribing, and sharing to receive similar content in the future. Looking forward to seeing you again.